Welcome back to Grapple Fix It. I've been for my um, booster jab, which is the third jab in the UK. Um, because I'm in a high risk group. I'm, I don't know whether that's just anyone over 50 or anyone over 50 who's had a stroke, I don't know. Anyway, go there, parked, the disabled parking space that the bloke tried to send me to was the furthest space from the building, which I thought was quite strange, and so did he. So I didn't park there, I just parked near the building. Um, got out, went in, straight in really, didn't, didn't make an appointment, dead easy. Then the um, nurse came in, went in my little cubicle, nurse came in, couple of questions, am I on blood thinners? Um, allergic to anything, that kind of thing. Um, and then it's the Moderna jab I had today. I had the AstraZeneca last for the last two. This one was the Moderna one. She said, you're going to feel a slight prick. Well, I do generally anyway. She pops it in, didn't even feel it, done. Then I had to sit on a chair for 15 minutes. And I'm interested to know, because I don't know anybody who's had a problem straight away. I know a couple of people who've felt bad the next day or later on that day. But I want to know if anyone has expired sitting there for 15 minutes. And if so, what did they do about it? I couldn't wait 15 minutes, I waited about 10. And it's now been about an hour. And I'm still here. So I don't know what that's about. On the first jab, it was in a different place. And they were, um, I wasn't allowed to park out the front because that's reserved for disabled people um, so I went round the back I had to walk just a short distance round the corner into the place same thing dead easy didn't feel it all done sat down for well that was only five minutes I couldn't be bothered I can't see the point in sitting there for 15 minutes well, yeah. I don't know, it's probably if you're driving or something and then you feel a bit queasy or... I don't know. Anyway. So I had to go out to the other entrance because they didn't like you mixing on the way in. So I went out the long way, I trundled, and I'm hobbling around like this, hobbling around the side of the building to where the queue is, where the people are coming in. So I'm going past them anyway, I suppose it's outside then, isn't it? Which they say is less dangerous. So I'm hobbling past the queue. Nice. So I decided to crack a funny, because I thought, lighten the mood. Everyone's looking quite anxious. And I said, oh, going past. And the couple of the people working there said, hello, sir, are you all right? Yeah, I said, yes. I said, I was all right when I went in. Now look at me. No. You can see the people in the queue looking quite concerned. They don't think it went down very well. So I learned from that. I didn't bother cracking another funny at all. Because I don't think people are up for a joke at these things, are they? Don't know why, really. So that's my adventures today. Back in my office again. 
um, got some videos to put on. I'm having problems with, I want to add, occasionally add a bit of music, which is, I think, appropriately funny to whatever I'm doing or whatever the video's about. So I keep picking music that's really old. And last night I thought I'll pick that one and I'll upload it, upload it this morning, just to see if, if, if they, on the checking algorithm, whether it picks up again that I've got music on there that's copyrighted, and it did. Well, I don't want to tell you what the video's about, but the, the, the tune was the theme song or the theme music to um, Six Million Dollar Man. Well, in the UK, well, I haven't seen that since the 70s because it was pretty bad then. So they haven't bothered repeating it. So what I would do by putting that in, if I get to the stage where any of my videos are making any money, that they'll give the the advertising revenue of that video to someone involved with the six million dollar man. I don't quite understand. Like um, medicines, you have medicine, you have a period of time, something like 10 years, I'm guessing at 10 years, it may be more, where like, like Viagra, for instance, it came out of its copyright or whatever they call it, um, marketing period of time, and then anybody could make it. Of course, everyone was laughing with that drug, but people were making it before, I'm sure, by the amount of emails I've got. Um, so that, the music has no time limit on it. So, like I said the other day, I put music in that was 50 years old, at least. The blokes who wrote it are all dead, because oh, I checked. But I'm assuming their great-great-grandsons probably sitting there grabbing all the revenue from it. But it's not a video about the music. It, the music just added to the video. So I'm not going to pick any music from copyright stuff now because it's just it's pointless. I'm making the content that people are watching... It may have a bit of music in it, or may not, but if it has music in it, I won't get any revenue from that um, video. Does that seem strange? I can understand it if someone wants to put on, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put Adele's new single on there. And, because uh, she's, one, she's alive, two, she's working in that industry, and that's how she makes her living. So you would be taking you're taking money off of her. With a six million dollar man. Honestly. I'm I know you can get copyright free music. Um so but they're mainly um made up bits of music. People have done it themselves privately. And, you know, the musicians just put it on there for fun. And you can use that stuff. You may have to put a credit to them. I wouldn't know the credit. I wouldn't know the credit. Music provided by the $6 million man. Hmm. Anyway. That's something else I've noticed in my videos. I say anyway a lot. She's kind of annoying me when I'm editing. I can't edit out anyway, a lot, because I say it so much. So I'm going to attempt to not say that so much. Only because it's annoying me. If it's annoying me, it's probably annoying anyone who's watching.
See, I would have said it then. So if anyone's got any um, ideas on this copyright fiasco, could you please tell me? Because I'm just a bit perturbed by it. I don't, I don't understand. One, why there's no time limit on it. Something that 50 years old you would have thought. And, and also, how do these guys have YouTube channels dedicated to say, I'm purely guess, guessing here, but I was, it's only because I've seen them. So something like, oh, Star Trek, clips from Star Trek programs or films. All, all, that's all they do. Nick a clip, stick it on, and say, the you know, the, when the Klingons attacked the Enterprise in Hoobajuba, whatever. They're playing a clip from a film that's still available and still played on television. And are advertising. So I'm, I'm really confused by it. I put a bit of music on that's just to add to the video, aid it. It don't really matter if it's not on, but I just thought it was a bit funny. And you get nobbled for it. So if you've got any ideas on that one, please let me know. Because it's starting to get on my nerves. And I, the, I've looked at the copyright free music and it's it's great if I was like um, hiking or going climbing a rock face or, I don't know, expedition, something. Something, you know, like motivational, just music, like lift music really, but good lift music rather than naff music, lift music. I mean, what do the lift music guys do? Do they have to pay a copyright fee every day, every time the lift goes up and down? Oh, I don't know. Or well, the telephone. You put on hold. I mean, I've had, I've had um, Coldplay before when I phoned up someone sitting there for 20 minutes listening to Coldplay. How do they do it? Surely they can't pay for the Coldplay to be played on the bloody phones while you're sitting there waiting. Sometimes it's, it's terrible music. But I don't mind it. no music. I mean, it's not, it's not helping me get what I want done, is it? I'm just sitting there listening to music as opposed to nothing. I'm bloody sure they don't pay for that. Call centre in, in Delhi or something is not going to pay copyright for a music track on their phone, are they? So I might be worrying about something that, well, I don't know, because it, it comes up, it says, copyright detected, any fees from this video that you make will be passed on to the copywriter. I bet they aren't. Well, not all of them anyway. If I'm, if I play, um, a modern song, a new song, or songs like that. I, I can understand it. It's ruining my editing. All my ideas are then getting trashed. Oh, I won't put music in. Which is a shame, because sometimes I think it's quite funny. I'm not picking tracks just for the hell of it. I'm picking tracks which are appropriate to my situation. 
I suppose you're wondering what a six million dollar man has got to do in my situation. It was kind of ironic. I'll, I'll look around a bit more, investigate. Sure, it's me just getting annoyed and not looking properly. And how to how to get the right music copyright free. I mean, I don't care if someone puts my videos on their website because they're public. I mean, it's all good. Advertising, there's no bad advertising, really, in my opinion. There is if you're advertising, I suppose, six million dollar man, which isn't going to make any money any other way, is it? Terrible program that was in the 1970s, which I quite enjoyed when I was seven. But it's so dated, no kids are going to enjoy it now because it's, you know, plastic candy ad, which suddenly was not a plastic candy, it was a proper moving, looked brilliant. And he could lift a car with it, which I always, even then I did struggle with the concept because it don't matter what your arm can do, it's still attached to your shoulder. So he would lift the car, but the rest of his body would crumple, other than his legs, which again were bionic. So there's, there's lots of them. Bit daft, isn't it? Oh, he had the bionic eye as well. He could see further than I can see. Quite amazing what they made in the seventies into films or series. It was a particularly poor one. It's amazing. Really we grew up grounded, not all a bit messed up, isn't it? Um Right, I think that phone cut off again at 17 minutes. Well, I was just about to say cheerio. Um, the next video will hopefully be a repairing video. When we, I will try and attempt to correct some of the problems that I've done in the last ones. Like I will try and explain what I'm doing or at least show what I'm doing. Or both of those things will be bonus, because that is the whole point, really. We'll see how we go. Cheerio.